I knew that's why you called. That you'd come back. Filmed on location in Tasmania. From the producers of Animal Kingdom. Don't go near this. The Kettering Incident begins Monday, July 4. Oh well, everything, really. Um, it's such a unique environment that there's no way this show um, could exist anywhere else. Um, you know, often you see films are shot in one place for another and you can kind of cheat, you know, Melbourne for Sydney now and then or... But it's certainly um, a character in our show and, and as soon as you see it, you get to um, immerse yourself in so many beautiful parts of southern Tasmania, whether it's the candlesticks when Henry's character is kayaking across them, which is just staggering, down in the Tasman Peninsula, or whether we're up in um, Mount Field in the National Forest where they have the world's tallest flowering trees. I mean, you just can't recreate the world's tallest flowering tree anywhere else. I mean, Tasmania is a special place. I remember when I was a kid, I flew in in December and on the left-hand side of the plane down the entire east coast were bushfires and on the right-hand side of the plane as you're flying south were snow on Mount Wellington. Um, or Kananyi, I think they call it. Um, and it was just, it's, it's a magical place. And I, I'd, I'd never filmed down there before. I mean, I was fortunate enough really early in my career where I, I was able to play different roles. Um, and I, I, I managed to get cast in something like Marking Time. And then uh, I was lucky enough to get cast in something like Society Murders. And I felt like I was learning my craft and defining myself as a as an actor as I was going. Like I think in Australia it's, you know, you're, you're lucky to get a gig, you know, and I was sort of forming a craft that way. And then certainly with the success of Offspring in the public arena, you know, I wanted the success of Offspring, um, that did um, pigeonhole me in a certain way in that romantic kind of um, lead. And you clearly Love Child is a follow on from that, you know, that sort of romantic show and you're someone's partner or... Um, and then to have the opportunity, something like this is, is very exciting for me again because it would be... It'd be very easy to keep getting pigeonholed and then I think if you were to do that as an actor, you might be successful for a few years but ultimately that would be your downfall. It's so fantastic of um, Screen Australia and obviously Screen Tasmania, I think, and Foxtel, to be bold like this in this market. Because um, we haven't seen something like this. You know? And that's what I think is so amazing about television at the moment, is you can make something incredibly bold over eight hours like we have. Or I know Clever Man's just come on, and that's changing genre. The sophistication levels are just slowly rising. rising and that's, well, I think that's really exciting for us as actors and, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to, to fall into um, the industry at that time because I know when I graduated from drama school there's a lot of reality television and, you know, then there was the whole push of biopics for a long time and, and they have their great place, don't get me wrong, and I, they're, they're a great way to tell Australian stories to a really big audience but then this is also just the, an amazing way to share just beautiful filmmaking and beautiful writing and production <laughs> You know, like our, the heads of departments in this are just all, I mean, they've all shot so many movies and I just, to showcase um, our industry on a global level like this, uh, I, I, I don't see why we just have to watch these Scandi Noirs while we can't make them or I'm, I think it's really exciting. If there are mysteries in this world that we can't explain, then maybe all of those people are just somewhere we haven't found.